Welcome to another edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage here in Stewart, Florida. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a premium quality Carnuba wax using the straight line technique of rubbing out paint using straight line motions. In a few minutes, I'll share with you in detail why to use the straight line technique when applying a Carnuba wax. And to my knowledge, this will be the first time in the history of detailing the reason for this technique has ever been explained. The technique has been recommended for decades but no one ever explains why to use this technique and I'll share that with you today. Before I share that however, here's what this video will show you. One, the proper technique to get wax out of the jar. Two, how to apply a carnauba wax using straight line motions. Three, how to carefully remove a carnauba wax using the microfiber polishing cloths and a technique I call breaking the wax open. And four, how to use the final wipe technique to give the paint a final wipe to reveal a deep, wet shine. So right from the start, let me share with you the reason why to apply a carnauba wax using the straight line technique. When you're applying a carnauba wax to your car's paint, the number one goal is to work clean. This means everything has to be clean. The paint is clean because you just washed and dried the car. Your applicator pad is clean because it's been stored in a clean place before use. Your hands are clean because you wash them. And even the garage floor is clean because before you started, you swept the floor. So the utmost, highest goal is to work clean, and by working clean, you'll have done everything you can to ensure that you don't accidentally instill any swirls or scratches when working on your car's paint. But if by chance or by accident, any type of airborne dirt particle or abrasive particulate should somehow enter into the process of applying a carnauba wax to your car's paint, here's the skinny. If you use circular motions to apply a product, that is, you move your hand in a circular motion like this, if any abrasive particles enter into the process, you'll inflict circular swirls and scratches into the paint. And these are so horrible looking when your car is under the sun or under bright lights. Now here's the part no one ever explains, and let me tie this in with that problem. When you have hundreds of thousands of circular scratches in your car's paint, you can see the scratches from any height, in any light, at any angle. Now if you use straight line motions, you'll have to be at the right height and the right light and stand at just the right angle in order to see the defects. That's the story behind the story as to why to use the straight line technique for applying a carnauba wax. Before we get into the actual techniques, first let's examine the products used to seal and protect paint. When it comes to applying a layer of protection to your car's paint, there are two general groups or categories that most products can be placed into. These would be carnauba waxes or synthetic paint sealants. Carnauba waxes, like their name states, use a naturally occurring waxy substance obtained from palm trees that grow primarily in Brazil as their primary ingredient to provide protection and create shine. Synthetic paint sealants, on the other hand, are generally formulated using man-made or synthetic ingredients to provide protection and create shine. In this video, we're going to use the Pinnacle Sovereign Paste Wax, which falls into the Carnauba Wax category, but you can use these tips and techniques with any quality Carnauba Wax or synthetic paint sealant. Once you establish the paint is free from any above surface bonded contaminants, the next thing you want to do is inspect the paint for swirls and scratches. You can use bright, direct sunlight by simply moving the car outdoors in a way where the sun can shine down on top of the paint and then use your eyes to visually inspect for swirls and scratches. In case it's cloudy outside, another way to inspect the paint for swirls and scratches and even water spots is to use a swirl finder light like the Brinkman Xenon flashlight. The swirl finder light will expose swirls and scratches to your eyes just like the sun while enabling you to keep your car parked inside the garage where it'll stay clean and the surface will stay cool to the touch. It's always a good idea to apply a carnauba wax to a cool surface in the shade. Now let's take a look at the tools we'll need. Besides the Pinnacle Sovereign Paste Wax, we'll need a supply of premium quality microfiber polishing towels and a few clean soft foam applicator pads. Because microfiber polishing towels have become the new buzzword in the industry, there's a lot of substandard microfiber towels on the market. 
Here at AutoGeek.net, all of our microfibers are top quality. We do the research so you don't have to. To apply this wax, I'm going to use some clean, soft foam applicator pads, which will make it easy for me to get the wax out of the jar, and the open cell foam structure will also hold ample wax and release it as I move the pad over the surface. Before we get started, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And because this is a convertible top, nothing's being hurt. Everything is clean. There we go. And the, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the correct technique for actually getting a paste wax out of the jar. And it looks like this. First, we're going to take the lid off. Let me set this down right here. And I'm going to take my pad, and what you want to do is you actually want to take and place the pad on top of the wax, and then you're going to take your hand and you're going to spin the wax jar, and at the same time, spin the pad. And this little bit of friction will melt the wax just a little bit so it will seep into the foam. And then you can take that wax and start spreading it out. And as you find yourself needing more wax, just come back and again, put the wax pad against it, and then just like this, just spin it like that and a little bit of wax will seep into the foam. Now this pad is ready to start applying wax to the paint. But let me show you a mistake that a lot of people make. Instead of spinning like this, they'll actually take their pad and they'll scoop out a chunk of wax. And then they got a chunk of wax on their pad and how are you gonna spread that out? So use the technique I just showed you. Take and place your pad right against the wax and then with your hand, spin the jar and the pad. And again, this little bit of friction will actually melt the wax just enough to seep into the pad. And now we're ready to start applying wax to the car. Now that you know how to actually get the wax out of the jar and onto the pad, let's take a look at how to get the wax onto the paint using the straight line technique. Now, what we want to do is we want to rub in straight lines over the direction the wind would blow over the car, unless you're working on a thin panel. Then you apply the wax in the direction of the length of the panel. And what I mean by that is right here, where the convertible top comes down and connects to the body, and where this trunk lid opens up, there's a thin panel between this this trim piece here and the seam. Now, I'm not going to take my hand and try to rub back and forth over the direction of the wind will blow over the car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pad and rub the wax on in the direction of the length of that thin panel. So in most cases on your major panels, you're going to apply in the direction the wind blows over the car. But on thin panels like this, you have to use common sense and rub them out in the direction of the length of the panel. So let's go ahead and start applying this wax. Now, remember, Pinnacle Sovereign Paste Wax is a finishing wax, okay? It's only for paint in excellent condition. And right now, all I'm really trying to do is spread the wax out and lay down a nice, even coating. And for the most part, you want to work panel by panel. You see, this is a non-drying wax. You apply it, work it in well, and then immediately wipe it off. And for this reason, you want to do a panel, wipe it off, and then move to the next panel. 